So let's see if my curse is still active and if I talk about a series that has its first new chapter in Weekly Shonen Jump, if it will be axed or not. But all jokes aside, I want to talk about Cypher Academy because it's a new series that came out in Weekly Shonen Jump today, which has had a little bit of buzz around it. And the reason for that is because of the offer that is behind the said series. The offer is Nisio. Most likely my camera might be covering it, but Nisio is a very very well-known offer, and I'll show you what he's worked on. He has worked on Madoka Box, very popular series. I have not read it myself, but I know it's extremely popular. Uh, he's worked on the Monogatari series, and I think everybody will recognize Monogatari. I mean, we have, you know, like, Death Note, Another Note. You know, there, there's a bunch of things that he's worked on over the years. So, Nisio is a very well-known and established writer. Very smart offer. As someone that has watched Monogatari and has dived into the light novels a little bit, I can 100% say that Nisio really is a great writer. Now, the thing is, is that because of that, obviously you can see all of this smart writing and great writing that he has done incorporated into this first chapter of Cypher Academy. But because of how smart this first chapter is, it will probably turn many people away from it. And that is the big topic of discussion with this video and why I even wanted to make it in the first place because I feel like this is going to be a very difficult series for people to get into, such as myself included actually. So anyways, to kind of talk about this, Cypher Academy's first chapter is obviously a little bit longer than normal. It has like, you know, 50 something pages as you can see here. It's a relatively good chapter. Like legitimately, if I want to be honest here, it's a good chapter. It is like not the, the best first chapter I've ever seen. I've seen a lot better over the years, but when I put it in perspective of just chapters in general, it's a good first chapter. It establishes the world, it establishes characters, it establishes, you know, what you can expect from the series, what's going to happen, etc. It's a legitimately good read. It is. However, the problems start to come in place because of just how smart of a read it is. And, okay, let, let's talk about that. There's nothing wrong with an offer having intellectual stories. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And you can see this clearly from the way this is written. It's a very smart story. There is a lot of depth to it when it comes to, like, the character writing, the dialogue, and figuring out certain riddles. Like, hell, the first page literally starts off with a riddle here. Like, you know, if you were to zoom in here, it literally, this is a, like, a poem that is a code, this is the translation of it, and you have to solve the riddle to be able to get the answer. And I'm going to be honest with you, the, the reason why this series is going to be a difficult read for people is because of this content. And let me explain. It's not because it's too smart, it's because it doesn't translate well into the West. Let me explain. Basically, when it comes to Japanese writing, like hiragana, katakana, kanji, etc., you know, it's a completely different language. And translating something into a different language, aka English, is definitely difficult. It's not an easy job. And shoutouts to the translator that is honestly working on this. I know it has to be hell to actually translate this seriously good work. It really is good work. And it's not necessarily the translator's fault for, like, why some of the things is difficult in this chapter. So, let me get on topic. Basically, because it is translated from Japanese, and a lot of, let's say, the riddles in this chapter, like, when we get to see, like, the word, uh, like, crossword puzzle, to finding out kind of what the, um, the riddle is with the poem, like this right here, you're not able to fully understand and decipher it because it's actually going alongside of Japanese prefectures, which is like counties in, you know, United States. And it, it also goes along with just finding out and knowing a poem, a Japanese poem, knowing what different kanjis stand for. It's a very difficult thing to understand and probably even difficult for people reading this in the native language Japanese. But as English readers or people that read this in a different language, regardless of whatever it's translated in, it's going to be hella difficult to even understand this. And in a way, it might be multi-layered. Maybe this is on purpose. Maybe, you know, Nisio is doing this because obviously it is a Cypher Academy series. And the point is, it's supposed to be a code. It's supposed to be difficult. It's not supposed to be easy to crack and understand. I think that's completely fine. But the problem, though, is, is that there will be a certain detachment away from the main character because of these said elements. Like, the people in the West that obviously don't read Japanese and read the original source will probably slowly become detached from the MC. And that is the difficulties I think that this series is going to face in the grand scheme of things because if there is a lot of riddles and stuff like this that is just Japanese based and it's hard to translate into English or other languages, 
it's going to turn a lot of people off from the, the series because you're, you're going to feel stupid that you're not able to get anything. So that, that is a point. I just, I want to talk about that. I'm not saying that Nisio shouldn't do this. I, I, I do also want to reinforce that. I don't think that Nisio should stop doing what he wants to do. I think he should do anything he wants. I'm just saying in terms of the West, this will be a very niche series. It is going to be niche and it's definitely not going to be something that is going to you know, get everybody's attention just because of the content that is displayed within it. But that's just my two cents. Now, besides that, let's let's talk about the other stuff. So, the overall concept of the chapter is fairly basic, despite what I've kind of already used to describe it. Basically, you have our main male character. Yeah, I know, it looks like a girl. But basically, you have our main male character that has joined an academy. And it's a very basic start. Basically, you have the character, you know, is not relatively the smartest tool in the shed. You know, the character is not able to crack and, you know, decipher the crossword puzzle that they receive at the end to be able to do their name introduction and eventually they come in contact with someone that is obviously an outcast. This outcast is this person right here, this girl, that uh, has some specialized gadgets and hands our main male character a pair of glasses that is able to basically decipher code and stuff and be able to, you know, see things that you normally wouldn't be able to see, which gives our character more of an advantage in being able to use this device in a very interesting way. Now, I will say that the character obviously has to be intelligent to even be able to use said device, but the point still is, is that the character in terms of intellect without this device is nowhere on the same level. Now, also we have like the whole concept of an all-girls school within this, so that's definitely going to probably play a um, an interesting direction for the story eventually. We can all kind of expect what kind of cliches is going to be there. It's, um, it's good, like, legit, it's good, like, I mean, even the, uh, the final part of the chapter, by the way, with the whole thing with the main objective, like, get into a mining war about cryptocurrency and stuff, I think that's fascinating, it's playing on real-world topics, and that's exactly what this first chapter does, actually. There is a lot of realistic and real-world themes. Cryptocurrency is, let's be honest, everybody probably has heard about cryptocurrency at this point in time, unless you're living under a rock, and regardless if you support it or don't, Everybody's heard about it, and the fact that Nisio is using this as a kind of plot point, I think, is very interesting. He's using modern things that are happening in modern times to make the story a little bit more relatable, but also, I do like the beginning of how, basically, the group, the Cypher group, was made, kind of referencing, you know, a little bit about World War II, etc., with codes needing to be deciphered and all that. There is some little bit of history here, and I do appreciate that. I think that Nisio is 100% very well-read and a great offer. As I've already said in this video, he's an incredible intelligent writer and I just think that you can really see it in the way he writes his first chapter but once again because of how smart he is as a writer it can lead into difficulties for people getting into the story enough said so yeah um will the series last only time will tell. Honestly, only time will tell if the series is axed or not. I don't think it's bad. I think that it does have a place in Shonen Jump 100% because I think that this is a niche that needs to be filled, especially since smartphone, like super smartphone got ended or whatever, or axed technically. I think that there is definitely a gap or hole that needs to be filled, and this is a series that definitely could fill that. Like, you know, be a niche series for people. We'll see, though, but um, I guess I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching the video. Um, yeah, be safe, stay healthy. Oh, yeah, one last thing. If you are interested in joining the Discord server that I made recently, link is also in the description. Check it out. You know, it's really fun. We've been having a good time. We've even had some uh, watch parties, actually. We watched all of Bochi together last night. It was very fun. It was really fun. And if you want to join in and have a fun time, do join the Discord down below. But, okay, be safe, stay healthy. Chibi out.